Qatar's energy minister is most certain Europe will return to Russian gas. In devastating news, four Bangladeshi expats die in a road crash in Qatar. Qatar is to set up a regional whale shark research and training center. And finally, FIFA is cracking down on Argentina for offensive behavior. Hi, it's Fatma and you're watching The Roundup. Here are today's top stories from Qatar. European countries will eventually give in and resume the imports of Russian gas. That's according to Qatar's energy minister Saad Sharida al kabi who also warned market volatility could last for years. Europe has grappled with an energy crisis following Russia's war in Ukraine, causing many countries in the region to turn to Qatar and the U.S. in an effort to reduce their reliance on Moscow's gas. Meanwhile, energy ministers from Qatar and the UAE said they expect a long-term demand for LNG, a noted additional investment is necessary to ensure supply security and affordable prices during the transition to a new global energy system. And now, four Bangladeshi expats died and two others were injured on Al Shimal Road in Qatar at 5 a.m. on Friday. Sources who spoke to Bangladeshi media said the vehicle carrying them lost control and hit a car on the highway. One of the deceased named by local Bangladeshi reporters as Mohammed Rahat has already been buried. An official at the Bangladesh embassy reportedly said the bodies of the three deceased will soon be sent back home to their families. You may have seen whale shark statues all around Qatar. Well, now authorities are reportedly in the process of setting up a regional whale shark research, training, and education center. According to the Gulf Times, UNESCO is also interested in partnering up with Qatar to oversee the project, which is likely to be completed within two years. And finally, FIFA has launched an investigation into Argentina's, quote, offensive behavior a month after the team's victory in Qatar. The team is being probed for several actions that may have violated FIFA laws, including offensive behavior and violations of the principles of fair play. Branded childish and immature globally, Emiliano Martinez's celebration while holding his golden glove on the podium may be at the center of the investigation. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co, and make sure to download our app for your daily updates.